Good morning, folks. Good morning. Welcome to Swansea. Lake Macquarie. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the channel here is really the only connection between the Pacific Ocean on one side and the Lake Macquarie on the other. The bridge over the channel opens up probably uh, half a dozen times a day, let boats in and out of the lake. So Swansea is located on the east side of Lake Macquarie. It's probably only half an hour from Newcastle. If you were driving from Sydney to Brisbane in the 1980s, you probably would have driven through Swansea as it was the main route before the M1 motorway opened up in the late 1980s. It's very tidal and the, the water really flows through here at a high speed and sometimes. Very strong current. It's popular with jet skiers and fish, people fishing off the side. A lot of people in boats today for sure. We saw some parachuters as well, some people snorkeling. Spear fishing. Swansea's also got a lot of lovely beaches around here. We've got um, Blacksmiths on the north side of the channel uh, and Caves Beach on the south side. So we might stop by and visit those today as well. So come roving with us and let's check it out. So we've just been to Blacksmiths, lovely little beach near Swansea. Yes, just on the north side of the channel. Lovely family friendly beach. The surf isn't too rough. It was a busy day today. It looked like they had a nippers carnival or something like that going yeah. on. So yeah. lots of families and kids around and whistles blowing. <laughs> So it, uh... It's a Sunday morning, so I think they have the nippers, which is the, the junior lifesavers. They have little carnivals regularly for, uh, for the little guys and girls. <laughs> they had a coffee station there, so we went and got a really good coffee and mm. had a chat to the locals. Uh, the Swansea Channel is separated from the beach there by a big rock wall. And the rock wall had lots of fishermen fishing off there. They actually caught a few while we were there. And we found a little protected pool called Granny's Pool. Yeah. Great place to take young kids and anybody really. It was really flat and protected and just lovely sand around. What a hidden gem. We've been up this way for over 20 years and we've never discovered this before. So I think it's a little bit of a hidden secret and uh, we'll definitely be coming back here another time for a swim and hopefully you'll see how gorgeous it is and you'll be able to discover it too. <laughs> It's time now and we're feeling a bit peckish so uh, we've come to Caves Beach which is a popular beach on the southern side of the Swansea Channel and we're going to Caves Beach Hotel to have something to eat.
fish and chips for yum. Chicken and salad and, and a couple of chippies. <laughs> <laughs> can't go wrong with fish and chips in Australia. No. I've never had a bad one. <laughs> Don't jinx yourself. This is Caves Beach. We've got the flags there, a few people swimming. Beautiful afternoon. We've got the Caves Beach Caves over on the southern end. You know you're in Newcastle when you look out to sea and you see the ships all waiting for their turn to come into port. These are the caves that give Caves Beach its name. They're only accessible uh, at low tide. It's a high tide. You get soaked if you were standing here. You don't want to go through there, Lee. caves to explore oh okay <laughs> yes I think if I think if I was 10 I'd probably fit through on the roof yeah so the tide the tide really fills these up feel like a dip right now well, that was a nice trip to the caves beach caves it was. built up a bit of a thirst so we might go down to Catherine Hill Bay uh, or the Catho as everybody calls it, um, for a bit of liquid amber refreshment. Sounds good. <laughs> Catherine Hill Bay, only uh, a few kilometres south of Swansea. Catherine Hill Bay is an old uh, mining village and it's one of the oldest settlements here on Lake Macquarie. They used to mine coal and bring it and load it onto the ships on this long jetty. Uh, it was used up until very recently actually. There's a lot of historic old mining cottages that people live in and there's a, a 100 year old pub uh, which is a, a popular haunt especially on a Sunday afternoon like this afternoon so we might go and uh, try one of their beverages. everybody yeah we're back home now it's been a great day out in the Swansea area hello Jesse are you glad we're back home now oh thank yeah. you 
Why don't you lie down, Jessie? We've got to say goodbye to all our friends. We had a good day out. We're glad to be home, but we had a great day out. Mm. If you liked what you saw today, please hit like and subscribe below. And we hope you come roving with us again soon. Bye bye. What did you do? <laughs> You've got a mischievous look <laughs> on your face. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>